morning, Anthony. Everybody accept it. So what we're gonna do now, just so we can become more familiar with who, who everybody is and, and everything, I want you to do a quick minute introduction of yourself, what got you into real estate, what office you're out of, what you did prior to real estate, what you expect from real estate, and we're just going to kind of go down the line. I want everybody to become familiar because this is going to be your accountability. This is going to be your safety net. Not only are you going to have your amazing office managers, agents in your office, you're also going to have this core group. And I love the fact that there's eight of us on here right now. We're going to be able to ask questions to each other because we're all in the trenches at the same exact time. So we're going to start with my friend, uh, Ray. Ray. Ray likes to speak, so we're going to talk to him first. Uh, just give a quick introduction, Ray. I'm Ray Lamorticello. I'm right out of the uh, NISCUNA office. Um, I, what got me into real estate was investing, real estate investing, um, you know, providing a service. Most, most people can't learning as much as I can with this stuff because real estate is, it's, it's a sure thing. So it's, you know, you want to play with stocks, you want to play with all this other stuff, but real property is, there's nothing better than that. I love being in homes. I also do other gutter sales. Sorry, I took up my minute, but that was my main thing. So, you know, but go ahead. You guys go. So uh, whenever I do one-on-one -on -one with Ray's, I always have to give him a shot clock like in the NBA because he always <laughs> goes over his minutes. So I have a, a timer right there with him. I say, all right, Ray, you're on. He's a great guy, but he goes into sidebar conversation and uh, he'll talk to me about what he had for dinner three months ago. So uh, I do this Ray, really we're glad to have you. Uh, Chip, okay. let's go head over to you. Yeah, what's up? So uh, I'm Chip Ferrioli. Um, I'm going to be working at the Saratoga office. And what got me into real estate is I find it really interesting. And I wanted to do that um, instead of college. So this is, you know, I'm not, I just got out of high school, just graduated. So this is sort of uh, my plan. I also run a detailing business called Chip's Mobile Auto Detailing. Um, so, yeah. That's great, Chip. Uh, Chip, you will have forever clients because realtors are notorious for keeping the dirtiest cars ever. So <laughs> I will have you detail my truck. If you could do an at-home service or an at-office service, I will absolutely hire you. That's what we specialize in. So that's a good Perfect. idea, actually. That's a great idea. Yeah, bring it to each of our offices. I'm, I'm there. Right. Yep. Right. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Uh, we want ten percent though. And it is true what Ryan said. We are the yeah the messiest because our cars are our offices for the most part. You know? Perfect. Yeah. All righty, Kelly Perone. All right, I'm out of the Niski Una office, and what got me into real estate was my dad owns a construction company. So I was always around when he was doing construction, but I wasn't interested in the physical part of it. So I wanted to sell it. And I watched a lot of home shows. So that got me really into it. But I did go to school for business. And then I realized I didn't really want to do that halfway through, but I still finished it out. And now I'm finally doing what I wanted to do. So that's that. Uh, funny you bring that up too because much like chip i i didn't want to go to college i'd rather just go right into sales but i went down the uh, business management marketing route and right. for four years all i learned how to do was fight that's where i started jujitsu <laughs> and uh yeah i'm still paying student loans on that so let's see how yeah. that's going all right craig um yeah i'm craig bullard i'm out of the saratoga office um I've been, you know, my previous, you know, experience has been like high end, you know, dining, private butler, you know, private dining, you know, and I just felt like this was kind of the next level of, you know, commission sales. So here I am. Yeah. I have a cake idea. business. I've had a cake business for 15 years. Yeah. And I'm slowly yeah. trying to back off of that, but. And congratulations. I, I heard, Craig, you had your first uh, sale already. I think it was last week or the week before, right? Yeah, we're yeah. having some issues with that. Oh, you are? Okay. Sorry. I don't want to jinx it. I'll, I'll be quiet. <laughs> it was already uh, jinxed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're moving the ball in the right direction. Yeah, right? I mean, they're, they're still with me, but... <laughs> okay. and, and the parallels between the service industry and real estate are, are so incredibly intertwined. So you're going to be very, very successful if you keep that same mindset and the same attitude that you did with uh, your previous job into this one. So 
welcome mm -hmm. aboard. Uh, Suzanne, can you hear us? I know that you're muted right now uh, and your screen is off. Um, if you can, just put something in the chat box so we know that you're around. If not, don't worry about it and we'll, we'll get to you in a little bit. Uh, Anthony D'Onofio. Uh, yeah, uh, Anthony D'Onofio, I'm out of the NISC unit office. I've actually been doing this for just over four years now. Just got my associate broker's license. Um, Why did I get into real estate? Geez, um, it's been a while. I don't even remember, I don't think. Um, just wanted to do something different. I just got out of college and uh, I, whatever I went to college for kind of kind of sucked. So I figured I'd, I'd give this a whirl. And so far it's, it's been pretty fun. Fantastic. And the reason why I like to have Anthony or even Chris Donato and sometimes Barry Griggs or some agents that have been through the process is because there are four years removed from where you are right now. And within the last four years, I mean, shoot, Anthony, you've been a broker now for a year and or associate broker for a year and a half or so. Yeah, buddy, so yeah. Something like that. Yeah. I, I didn't mark the date down, but yeah, that's close yeah. to it. So two and a half years in became an associate broker doing very, very good work. He actually, funny enough, used to come to the office that we're at now as a baby uh, because his mom, Teresa, is uh, our head accountant. So she's been with the company for your whole life, huh? Right, Anthony? Yeah, about 30 years. Yeah. Yeah. So small world, right? Family business. All right, let's go to our fearless leader, Jason Christiana. Good morning, everybody. My name is Jay Christiana. I run the day-to-day the -day operations here at Berkshire Hathaway. I get the pleasure of working with Ryan and Joanne and all of your different managers. Uh, Stephanie, I know Suzanne, I think, is with Stephanie's office. And Anthony, you're with Ryan's office. And it chips with uh, Joanne. You've got great managers. We've got great support here at the company. Um, you know, I, I always tell everybody, you know, don't be shy about reaching out. If you have a problem or an issue or a frustration, um, I always recommend make sure you go to your manager to let them know and go right away, you know, before something festers, you know, um, it's really difficult the first year or two in this business, because we're, we're constantly dealing with people and we're dealing with different personalities, as Ryan can tell you. And the, the best thing about this business is the people. And at the same time, the worst thing about this business is the people. Um, if you get a bad client and, and we've all had them or will have them, they can make your life a living hell. And sometimes it's best to cut the cord and your manager can work with you, you know, to figure that out. But, you know, I've seen a lot of uh, new people in the business, um, you know, their first transaction or two is with somebody who's very difficult. Just make sure you're getting the guidance that you need. Anything we can do to help, that's what we're here for. Um, I'm not sure what else you want me to go into, Ryan, but I'm going to stick around. Any questions I can answer? I'm, I'm a phone call away, just like everybody in this company. Um, very supportive group of people. Uh, you know, don't be shy about reaching out. One of the things you're going to get from Ryan is the who to contact for help list. It's got a list of all our various services, you know, your manager's cell phone numbers, you know, our numbers, um, and whatever the easiest way of reaching out is, you, you know, you're, you're more than welcome to, to do that. So I, I encourage it. Yeah, and welcome. You're, you're with a great company, with a great trainer. We're, we're, we're blessed and lucky to have Ryan um, doing this. He does a phenomenal job. And again, he's going to do everything he can to support you guys through this process. So, and it's weird times, too. We're looking at each other in a box on the, on the screen. <laughs> you know, this, this has been the reality for the past two years. And it's been strange. But at the same time, there have been some benefits. You know, a lot of our agents are doing more business than they've ever done in their entire careers. And, you know, part of that is the market. I think part of that are some of the efficiencies with real estate now that you can be in Saratoga with Chip on a Monday morning and, and, and be all the way in Albany for, for a 1030 meeting now that, you know, we have access to these tools like Zoom. So there are some benefits to that. But one of the negatives is, you know, we're not, we're not constantly surrounded by people now. One of the nice things about our company is our various offices and all the agents in those offices. And, it's a really helpful group. So I would encourage you, you know, as you're vaccinated and things get better and, and, you know, to, to try to spend more time in the offices, you know, we've got protocols set up for every office to make sure people are safe. But I, you know, the more you can surround yourself with people that are in this business and, you know, the people that are doing the business, the people that aren't the complainers, the people that are, you know, have a positive attitude. Those are the people you want to surround yourself with because there are, 
Um, you know, there are difficult, you know, periods with our, with our industry, you know, especially when you first start out, Ryan's going to talk about that. I'm sure, you know, your first year or two and, and, you know, uh, creating cli a client base and, and, you know, like Craig said, Craig had a, had a deal come together and it sounds like now maybe some things are happening, but that's, that's part of the business. And I always tell people it's great when you get those things that happen right at the start, because you know, they're going to happen at some point in time. Um, and that's what Ryan's here for. That's what we're all here for as your managers to walk you through that process and do everything we can to help keep the deal together and keep you moving forward. So I'll leave it at that for now, Rob. But like I said, I'll stay on. Anything you need me to do, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, we'll do a little Q&A towards the end. Sure, um, sounds good. Thanks yep. Thanks for all the, uh, the kind words and everything. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, no, I mean it. I mean it. Yeah. My name is Ryan Clark, obviously. Um, I've been with the company, shoot, for I think eight years now. Started off as an agent. I uh, worked under Brian McKenna, who you're going to all meet on Thursday. Um, I lovingly call him Dr. McKenna. I've been with him and the company. I transferred from a different brokerage after about a year and a half. Uh, my efficiency became very good at Madden football, not so good at real estate. Uh, <laughs> I worked from home, so I thought I was working, didn't really do much. And then I, I came over to Berkshire and that's where everything changed for me. Um, when I first joined Berkshire, I think I had four jobs at the time. I was an operations manager for a security company. I was the head bouncer of a nightclub. Uh, I owned a jiu-jitsu gym, uh, trained martial arts, and then obviously real estate. And slowly but surely I started having work-life balance and put all my eggs into the real estate basket. And it has been the best decision that I've ever done. So when I tell you that I'm passionate about this, that's an understatement. My success is driven directly 100% with your success. Uh, anybody who knows me knows that they can call me any hour, any day, anytime. Ray, you've called me a number of times. I'll either text you right back or I'll pick up the phone. I remember what it was like as a new agent. And I'll share a quick story with you. Uh, my first ever real estate deal was my brother-in-law and my broker at the time, and this is being recorded, but don't worry. He's not a broker anymore. It's a barbershop now. So we're, we're fine. Um, it is a barbershop. Yeah. yeah. It <laughs> is. Like, I drove by it the other day. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. He's like, don't worry. I'll meet you at the office at nine o'clock in the morning. Great. Perfect. I get 30, 30, have my cup of coffee. I have my first client. I'm pumped up, ready to rock and roll. 8.45 rolls around. He's not there. I call him. He doesn't pick up. 8.55 comes around. Call him. Doesn't pick up. 9.05, my client walks in the door and there I am. Not a clue what to do. Uh -huh. I literally had to Google how to fill out my first real estate contract. Um, I sent it to an attorney and the only reason why I had that attorney's name is because I randomly found her business card in a desk drawer at the office. Uh, <laughs> no guidance, no leadership, no nothing. Fortunately, that attorney who is now my personal real estate attorney, laughed, called me and says, this is your first time, huh? Yes, it is. I say that because I don't ever want anybody in this class to be part of what I had to be part of. It is the worst feeling ever. So if you're in the Saratoga office, still call me. If you're in Kinderhook, you could still call me. Shoot, I know Sue called me uh, 9.30 on Saturday morning just to kind of go over some of the stuff and I picked up the phone. My son knows he's 10 years old. He's been, you know, in this world with me for, you know, his whole life. He understands that when dad gets a phone call, dad picks it up. Um, it just is what it is. I, I, I love it. And um, so that's my introduction, who I am, what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to share with you guys now some people to call. I'm going to also send the email out. I think a lot of times if you just send an email, people will graze through it and look over it without kind of having a conversation about it. Um, so here is, can everybody see my screen? Just give a quick thumbs up if you can. All right, but so who to contact? Our company is so large yet so small. So we're an indiv independent franchise of Berkshire Hathaway. We have offices throughout the United States. We have offices you know, internationally, but we are still family owned at its core. The owner, the president, the CEO is on this call with us right now. And I always yell at him like, Jay, don't pick up your phone every time. We can handle it as managers. <laughs> but yet there he is picking up his phone. That is so important to you as agents to know that the top line and where everything goes. So 
BHHS customer service department, 935-2555. You should all program that number in and you should all call and make an appointment to meet Janet. Janet is directly linked to the leads that come in. She also has to call people on the weekends and I got a, a rotation of where the leads are gonna go. I've told agents in my office, if you want leads, you have to show me that you deserve them. Come to the office, let's have conversations, let's go to training, let's do things, let's be active in it. Don't just expect to get a lead from Big Brother and not know how to convert it, right? It's all sales at the end of the day. So Janet over there, Berkshire Hathaway National Customer Service. And I see Craig, I see you writing down these numbers. I'll email this to you so you don't have to go crazy with it. Um, Home Swing, that's our back end for our Berkshire Hathaway websites and, and sales core and everything. Executive Administrator Nelly Seguin, um, that is Jay's direct uh, executive administrator. Um, you're all going to have your own office administrators, um, so you could talk to them directly. IT, this is something that you could set up. Let's say you have a laptop that you want to bring into the office, that you want to connect it to the network, you want to connect it to the K drive, you want to connect it to the printers. They're awesome. You're just going to call them up, go to a website, log me in one, two, three. They'll give you a six digit code and they'll be able to have access to everything on your laptop. If you have any questions, you could call me. I can walk you through that process or, or so can your office administrator. Um, phone systems. Jay, do we completely convert every phone to Vonage or there's still a few offices that don't? There's still a couple offices we have left to do. I want to say, I think, I believe there are three. Um, I believe the work's been done in Saratoga. It's definitely been done in Niskeen. I think you guys were the first office to, uh, to switch over. Um, this will probably be our final new phone system to switch over to, but it's nice. It forwards everything to your cell phone if you're not spending a lot of time in the office there's there's different things that you know everyone has an extension here at their individual office and what happens a lot of the time since we all work on cell phones some of those calls go missed which is one of the reasons that we updated our phone system so everything now you know forwards directly to your cell and that'll be something your office administrator will go over with you and again i just want to make sure i think everybody on the call um yes has a new phone system so you know, and some of the things that we're going to talk about in training is going to be no brainer stuff like setting up your voicemail, right? Having it say, hi, this is Ryan Clark with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, right? Don't have it just go directly or have the automated, uh, automated stuff. Uh, relocation department, Stephanie Kuba, you're going to meet her. She's going to talk about relocation and referrals and everything. It's such an easy way of making money. It's, it's fantastic. Um, then we go to List Hub, truly a support. A lot of these third-party vendors, you just have to send an email out to them. Free marketing through Homestead funding. They're fantastic. Each office has their own Homestead rep. Make contact with them. In fact, our Homestead rep is here every Mondays. He does pre-qualifications here from the office. And uh, I have to yell at him because he actually didn't bring bagels or donuts today. So if you know any good Homestead reps, let me know. We're, we're looking for one. Legal questions, Anthony Gatto, NYSAR. Keep this number and save it. You're gonna have questions that sometimes we can't answer as managers or, or sometimes gonna be a case by case situation. Call the legal hotline, have a record of what they say. It's so easy. Showing time, that's how we are able to, you know, do showings with our app and everything. GCAR is our association. Uh, Southern Adirondack, that's more up north towards uh, the Glens Falls area. Global MLS, you know, Circle Picks is what we use for a website. So everybody's going to have access to that. It'll automatically, it's kind of like a set it and forget it thing. And what we're doing right now is broad overview. We're going to go into detail what all these programs are. Buy side and buyer match. It matches buyers with prospective listings. Dot loop is your best friend. That is how to do electronic signatures and everything. Everybody's going to have a dot loop account. Everybody's going to have access to it. That is going to be your number one most used app. All right. As you progress in the business, home spotter toolkit CMA. We're going to do a whole class on that. It's basically how to take the raw data from the MLS and make it into this beautiful, nice slideshow presentation for your clients. AdWorks. Uh, and then just follow everybody on, on our social media. 
you right? Go to facebook.com, Berkshire Hathaway, Blake Realtors, follow them, like them, share it. We're going to post content about you as the agents. We've often said, and I know that Jay has it as a tagline, that our, our best technology is our agents, all right? And, and that's what we have to do. So if you have a testimonial, if you have some a client that says something nice, let us know. There's an email test them, agent testimonials and we'll make it nice and we'll promote you. It's always easier for, for the company to promote you than in my case, I hate doing self-promotion. I, I just feel some weird type of way, like, ooh, look at me. But I'll have no problem sending a great testimonial to Jay so Jay can brag about me. It just yeah, I, yeah that's, that's one of the things I always encourage people to do. You know, we've got, and, and you'll learn this as the weeks go on, but you know, if you send testimonials to testimonials at BHHS Blake, all those emails are available for you. Uh, then we can shout you out on social media. And, you know, we use Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, all the different platforms. The big one right now seems to be uh, is Instagram uh, because you can kind of tell a story with a picture. And we use that quite a bit. And I always recommend that people follow us at BHHS Blake Realtors on Instagram. We usually throw two to three Posts up each day, um, and there's the team. I'll, let, I'll segue into that, right? Hey, Corey, I like your background, by the way, buddy. That's cool. <laughs> I, I just fire, muted he had, he had the fireplace. That's nice. <laughs> Very soothing. <laughs> yeah, he came into the office today, set up shop in the uh, conference room. And, uh, oh, is it the conference room? Oh, terrific. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. He's listening to some smooth jazz and has nice. a, a fire <laughs> in the background. Terrific. So here is our management team. Uh, you know, obviously you all know your own individual managers and everything. When I say that we're a collective unit, I truly mean that we do a lot of, you know, manager classes together. Um, we do a lot of trainings together. We have a lot of manager meetings. Joanne knows that she can call me anytime, much like I know I can call Joanne every time. So Craig, you're in Joanne's office. Again, call me, especially if you have something in Schenectady. You know, we know the Schenectady market like the back of our hand here in Niskayuna, much like Joanne and you would know the Saratoga market. And that's what makes it so unique for our company that it's not nine individual offices. It's just different hubs where we could all have that cross bond and cross referencing. So mm -hmm. obviously, Jay is the president and CEO. Dan Colvin is our CFO. You got a nice new headshot right there. This guy, Ryan Clark, is pretty decent. Andrew Mangini, he is our commercial division manager. I'm going to pause right here. Commercial real estate and residential real estate are two completely different animals. If you have commercial related questions, please seek counsel from a commercial realtor. It is so incredibly important because you are going to be, uh, I can't think of the proper analogy for it without cursing, but you're definitely going to want to make sure that, you know, you have a commercial agent walking you through the commercial deals. Yeah. And I, I can't stress that enough. Ryan, Ryan's right on point with that. You know, a, a commercial real estate is a completely different animal. And Andrew Mangini, who's been terrific, he's been with our company, God, I think this is the third year now, been doing a phenomenal job with the commercial uh, department. They had a record breaking record-breaking uh, year. Actually, they, they did more than they've ever done in any other year under Andrew's uh, leadership, and um, w which is just fantastic. So I would, I would definitely recommend getting in touch with Andrew just to introduce yourself, let them know that you're joining the team. Um, and I always recommend, especially if you're starting out, you know, hook up with a commercial realtor, someone from our commercial department, so that you can do, you can either work on something together or create a referral network back and forth. Right, right? Would you suggest that too? Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, you refer business because commercial agents don't understand resident. Not that they don't understand it. It's just not in their wheelhouse. And it's more it's efficient different. for them to refer something out. Um, Scott is that Cron something, yep. Is that like you either do one or the other? Or you don't do both? We, <laughs> I, we, we do have agents that do both. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We do have agents that do both. We just want to make sure, what, you know, if somebody's starting out and they have not done a a commercial deer don't have the experience you know we want to give them that experience by you know being able to work with either a commercial agent or again referring it depends on there's different types of commercial real estate you know you could be talking about a a four unit apartment with a um, you know a, a laundry down below or something and then you've got you know big 
warehouses that need to be leased and everything's a little bit different. And I think Andrew's going to be on uh, one of these calls, right, Ryan? In the next yes, week, so we, we actually have uh, Richard Farrow who's going to oh, be terrific. On. Richard and Richard's phenomenal. Yeah, you'll love him. Plus years in the commercial Great. real estate. Uh, Great trainer. Yep. He loves teaching. That's one of his favorite things. He he's done this class even eight years ago when I first went through the university. He was one of the instructors. So, um, you know, Craig, to answer your question too, you know, Joe Ferry and Ed Hirsch in my office both do commercial and residential. Joe Ferry is the senior vice president of the company with 30 plus years experience. Ed Hirsch is about 15 plus years experience. They can do it because they can navigate those waters. I have tried to do a commercial deal. And fortunately, every time I partnered up with a commercial agent, because they were asking questions that I had no idea the questions for uh, or the answers for. So, mm -hmm. you know, you can do it. I wouldn't suggest your first few times because you're going to, uh, yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a whole different animal, yeah. Yes. Uh, Scott Cross, he's the manager of our Queensbury Lake George offices. Um, so if you're ever venturing up north, you know, pay him a visit. He will be doing a class. Um, so you're going to meet him. Uh, Brian McKenna, who I mentioned earlier, he's the one that actually hired me eight, nine years ago, and I've been on this wild ride with him ever since. Um, he's the manager of the Clifton Park office, and he's teaching a class on Thursday morning, which you'll all appreciate. Charlie Colehammer, he is the manager of the Del Mar office. Um, he will not be teaching a class on the Zoom, but everybody is gonna have an assignment that he has already accepted, that you're gonna go to his office, and you're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one with him for about a half hour, 45 minutes. And you're just going to, uh, you know, bend his ear, ask him questions about real estate. He's a phenomenal uh, resource when it comes to real estate knowledge. He's got a tremendous office. He's got some, some big hitters over there. So you're going to absolutely want to take advantage of that. Uh, Karen Westman, she has a habit of breaking records every single week. <laughs> she, just, she just broke one uh, yeah. for August. Or no, excuse me, September. Yeah. yeah, it's we don't even keep records anymore in Kinder <laughs> because they break them all the time. So there's no sense in getting plaques, but she's awesome. You'll you'll thoroughly love her. She's honest, open, uh, just a great resource as well. Stephanie Kuba is the director of relocation and referrals. You are gonna absolutely wanna spread your wings and talk to anybody and everybody about real estate. Uh, perfect example is my brother sold his house out in Loudoun County in like the Virginia area. Um, I ended up getting a check of like $3,500 for a 20-second conversation I had with a, re with a realtor. I referred it to staff, found a realtor out in uh, Loudoun County, which is, I guess, one of the richest counties in all of the country. Uh, sold the house, got a referral for that. My sister's buying a house in, in South Carolina. Um, I sold a house over in Vermont, which I've never set foot in. So you have those re referrals. You have people that are looking to, to move out of New York. Take advantage of that. We have such a huge network that we could tap into that. And then obviously, uh, Joanne White out in Saratoga. She does a phenomenal class at absorption rate. She, does a, a, she just has tremendous experience and knowledge. And uh, she'll be a, a great resource as well. So that is the management team. Again, here is, you know, at your service, call anytime. Um, we are always willing and able to help. And then the last slide that I'm going to show is the uh, actual training class. And then I'm going to let you guys go a little bit early today. Um, and we're going to get into uh, the 1230 class. All right, can everybody see my screen again? Perfect. Let me get that out of the way. Screen. And Ryan, do you mind? Do you mind if I get a quick uh, photo? I know it's a Zoom photo before we leave. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right. we'll do that. We'll All right. So, so here is the, the schedule. I'm going to briefly touch on what every class is about. Um, they're all worth their weight in gold. They're all important. The beauty of this program is you don't have to do today's class in order to understand the class on October 28th, right? Everything. Everything is its own individual course. Um, you're obviously going to want to have the info and the knowledge moving forward, and you're going to want to have a complete package, but it's not like you're going to miss out anything. So today is just the introduction, and then I teach the class again at 1230 of commit to closing your first 12 deals. It's going to have a lot of tips and tricks. It's the stuff that I did as a realtor, as an agent, 
which helped me get to the next level. Um, a lot of it is mindset. I'm going to show one of my favorite videos that I watch at least once a week with this guy, Inky Johnson. I will do the recording immediately after that because YouTube frowns upon me taking other people's stuff and recording it as if it's my own. So we'll just, we'll leave that there. Uh, Brian McKenna on Thursday does work smart in your first year. It's a fantastic class. Um, he just kind of goes line by line of how to work smart. Uh, tech apps. We're going to go over some of the stuff that you want to be mindful of with social media, especially when you start creating your own Facebook page, right? The, the language that you want to have in your Facebook page to make sure it's compliant and everything. We're going to talk about the resource center. We're going to talk about um, dot loop. We're going to talk about how to navigate Paragon, which is the MLS and everything like that. Which, which I just wanted to tell everybody, and Ryan, you may have this on your list, but we're switching over to a new MLS system. The entire uh, GCAR and, and Warren County Association of Realtors have decided to partner up with another company. Um, so you'll be hearing more about that in November. So in about 30 days, you're going to be learning Paragon, but you're also going to be learning another new system. So we may want to, depending on how the classes fold out, Ryan, you and I can talk about that, whether we want to actually train on Paragon yeah. Or, uh, or or go right to flex. So yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be kind of like a quick overview. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, just so you can get you used to it and things like you know or, or like that. But uh, sure, and then we'll let you know when when the flex classes they're going to start in November. So they're going to be classes that are sponsored by G Car uh, and Global MLS. We'll let you know when those dates are, but they're going to have live classes, and they're also obviously going to have recorded classes that we can watch at any time. So it's kind of an interesting time to get into it because you are going to have to navigate what's going to be our old system as of January 1st and a brand new system starting in uh, November. So it was much like when I uh, joined the company, I had a week of Prudential Manor homes and then we went to the <laughs> first year. Yeah, that was, it was like a month of Prudential Manor homes and then, yeah. you know, two different emails. Uh, obviously we have no class on Columbus day. Um, the 14th, we're going to be dissecting the purchase and sale contract. That is with George Slingerland. He is our, our go-to attorney. You're going to hear his names. You're also going to get different referral sources, whether it's George or Colleen or who, Megan Boggs, whomever your office uses for attorneys. But George does a fantastic job teaching us how to go over the purchase and sale contract. And that's followed up by Joanne Wright White doing writing the winning offer. There's more than in an offer than just price. There's all different tips and tricks and strategies. And our job right now during training is to give you broad strokes, expose you to a lot of the stuff that's out there. As you progress in your business, you're going to know when to pull from your bag of tricks and what to pull from your bag of tricks. Um, that's going to be followed the next week by the listing appointment with Scott Cross. And then Chris Donata, who is an agent in my office, is going to be teaching us toolkit CMA essentially how to take that listing appointment, how to take the raw data and how to put it into a nice presentation piece. And Ryan, just so you know, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know, maybe it's my computer that's for, it says Ryan Clark has started screen sharing, but I, I don't see the document. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one. That's yeah, mine's it. not either. Just, okay, sorry, Ryan, I just want to let you know. Yeah, I get that sometimes too, it gets stuck or something. Right, let's try this yeah. again. Sorry. Screen share. That's all right. How about now? There we go, yeah, yeah I can. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, if that ever happens again, especially during class, just pause me and let me know. Um, Technology is great when it works. But sometimes when it doesn't want to behave, it's uh, the bane of our existence. Um, and then we're going to do exclusive buyer agency and open houses with Karen Westman. Buyer agency is, is something that you have to you know, take into consideration every time you talk to somebody and make a, con uh, a contact with them. We're going to talk about mortgages with Phil Reese on the 21st. There's more than just a FHA or conventional mortgage. It's how to find the right fit for your client. A lot of the stuff that we're going to discuss is staying within your lane, within your realm. You know, the attorneys are obviously the professionals when it comes to real estate law stuff. Phil is obviously the professional when it comes to mortgages. We're going to be the quarterback and we're going to help see things through to the end. And it's just having that basic idea of what that comes next. Uh, working with buyers, I teach that class. I actually did a, a first-time home buyer workshop. So the information that I presented at that workshop is the same stuff that I'm going to 
share with you. And it's how to meet your buyers on day one and walk them through the buying process. That way, when it comes to day 45 or whatever, you can always revert back to that and say, hey, remember in day one, I said that this was going to happen next. And it's pre-setting the expectations for your clients. Stephanie Kuba is going to teach relocation and customer service. She's going to go over everything that she does in the back end to make our world so much easier when we refer a client out. Joanne on the 28th is going to go pricing and servicing our listings. Right now, it's so important that we don't become lazy as realtors. Right now, if you, if you price a listing accordingly, chances are it's going to sell. But what happens when you have to go back into your bag of tricks and actually be a real estate professional, right? So the different strategies and how to service your listing, different things like, you know, making a contact with your listings once every few days so they don't start to get, you know, concerned that you haven't talked to them, right? Checking in with your clients. Uh, Jason Getman is going to go 1099 at taxes as a realtor. Uh, he's going to teach different things that you're going to want to pay attention to, keeping your receipts, your mileage. Um, home inspections with Ryan Bergami. He is one of our favorite home inspectors. Your home inspector should be thorough, but he shouldn't be an alarmist. Your home inspector should be knowledgeable, but shouldn't be one of those people that's going to say that the house is going to fall down because there's tack holes in the sheetrock. Um, then Richard Farrow is going to go over commercial real estate. And our last day, which is going to be November 4th, it's going to be a panel discussion with agents that are going to be three to five years in the business who are so incredibly close to you right now that we're going to have questions for them. What do you do on a daily basis? How did you become successful? How did you get your first listing? Whatever questions you all have are the questions we're going to ask them in a rapid fire manner. So prior to that class, we're going to have a whole list of questions. And that, my friends, is your introduction into Blake University. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to say one thing real quick, right, if that's all right. Just, it, it, it's interesting, you know, this class, this, this will be your, you know, introduction into real estate, but a lot of the real learning is hands-on. I'm sure as many of you who have been through other careers can attest to it's when you're when you're actually doing something and you've got a contract in front of you and you're with your manager and you're actually going through your first second or third contract you know that's when a lot of a lot of the learning is in doing would you agree ryan so we're gonna ryan's gonna take you through an overview of everything that's involved in this business but there's so many intricacies that you'll learn in your branch with your manager um i think that's safe to say so yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. I mean, there's no two real estate transactions are the same. So we can give you it just like in martial arts. When I used to train jujitsu, no two opponents are the same. Um, you're going to have to go back into your bag of tricks and you're going to have to pull information from a previous experience. That's going to help you see the next experience to the end. One of the things that I also will do is class starts at 10 o'clock. But I will always log in at 930 in case you have a weird question that happened throughout the week that you kind of want to go over with me. Um, something that, you know, it could be real estate related, it could be prospecting related, who knows. But that way, it's just an extra half hour or actually an hour a week that you could ask additional questions. Um, that way, you always have the upper hand when it comes to, you know, getting it to the finish line. So if anybody has any questions... Anybody? We're good. Hey, Ryan, awesome. I wondered, is it okay if I take a quick picture? If I do a count to three countdown, everybody smiles for me. Does that work? I don't know if everyone sure. can hear me. All right. <laughs> I'll count to three. Ready? One, two, three. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Awesome. And we will see you all back at 1230, and uh, we will start with how to commit to closing your first 12 deals. Thanks, Ryan. Great to meet everybody. Take all care, right. guys. See you guys all soon. Good night.